Hi folks, welcome back to the channel. Well, my little boy, he absolutely loves diggers. This is the one his grandma bought him. Here at the Man Made Handmade channel, I think we can do a lot better than that. We've got the steel, we've got the pneumatics, we've got everything we need. We're gonna build him a sit-on, a ride-on, fully operational digger. Let's get to it. Okay folks, we're gonna start with the arm of the digger. We're gonna do this knuckle or this hinge first. We've got some 40 mil by 40 mil box section and coupled with this 40 mil flat bar, we're gonna make some sort of hinge like this. Let's get going. Oh, new favourite tool. Basically, it's a set of calipers with a scribe on one end and a roller on the other. It makes it really easy to mark the centre line of any stock, just like I'm doing now. Word of warning folks, when welding it's important to cover up any exposed skin for protection against UV, however it's easy forgotten, so make sure you do it. Hinge is nearly finished guys, all we need to do now is make a pin what goes through this hole and out the back. Now if you haven't got a lathe like me, I'll show you how to make those now. So we're using some 10mm holes, so we've got some 10mm round bar here. I've cut it to length and cleaned it up with some sandpaper. Now I've got some 10mm internal diameter steel tube in here and I cut a piece off and put it over one end and weld it. Little clean up with a grinder, and there you have it, you've got one pin made without a lathe in sight. Well that's the knuckle of the digger arm complete there. Next job, we need to mount the cylinder, but before we know where it can go, we'll first need to mount the tip of the cylinder to these holes here. I'll show you how we do that now. I've since found out that we are trying to make a clevis here. This will enable the hinge to pivot around the end of the rod of the cylinder. That's the front of the cylinder mounted. Now when we mount the back of the cylinder, we need to be careful that we don't mount it in the wrong place, meaning the cylinder gets damaged when it moves. I'll show you how we're gonna mount the back of the cylinder right now. So we're making a backing plate for the cylinder and also a simple hinge, since just like the front of the rod, the back of the cylinder also needs to pivot slightly. So here I'm making sure the cylinder stroke bottoms out before the mechanism wants to bend and damage the cylinder rod. Next up, we're gonna stick a bucket on the end. Now, a couple of challenges. 
First, I've no slip roller or any way of bending sheet metal, so I'm gonna have to go through the scrap bin for that. Second, we're gonna need to create some sort of linkage so that the bucket actually goes round the arm and underneath, but I'm sure we can work that out. Let's do it. So I'm pinching a couple of curved pieces from this gas bottle valve guard and welding them together to form the bottom of the bucket. Same thing as before with this cylinder, we have a clevis at the front and a hinge at the back. It's starting to get a bit heavy now mind. Next up, we're going to connect this main arm to the body or cab of the digger. And to do that, we're going to use this beast. Let's get on with it. Set up a temporary rig here just to check to see if it all works. Well guys, that's the end of part one. Unfortunately, I'm going back to work tomorrow for four weeks. I haven't got time to build any more. However, in part two, we're gonna build a cab, we're gonna paint it all, and we're also gonna do some digging. So hit that notification button, and I'll see you in part two.